New wheels for a project car can cost thousands, so instead I made a set of custom aero discs, all with just a consumer grade 3D printer. And in this video, I'll show you the exact steps on how you can make a set too. But first, we need to figure out how we can mount them, and the perfect spot might just be where this old center cap cover used to be. Now to get the right measurements, I'd recommend using a caliper measuring tool, which helps us get the inside diameter and the proper height, which will plug into Shaper 3D. It's one of the easiest CAD software to use as you can jump right into the sketch mode and start drawing a circle. You can then select and extrude the circle to give it some shape. And now we can create an offset for the lip to give that some shape as well. And another offset can be added in the opposite direction and extruded to make a ring. Once that's done, another shape can be made for the lip. Selecting the shape and using the revolve tool easily carries the shape around our ring. And the last thing we need to do is add a slight fillet by dragging on the outside of our shape. Now we can send the file off to our 3D printer. For prototype test fits, I like using a Bamboo Lab A1 printer with whatever filament I have laying around. But the final part will need to be printed in something entirely different which I'll show you a little later. Well, that was a complete and epic failure. <laughs> I should have been designing it from that inner diameter out. So let's rerun through that again and give it another try. After I increased the diameter of the circle, I also decided to add some clips around the ring for easier installation and removal. To do that, I added some rectangles with offsets to punch into the ring, and now I can remove the entire lip around the ring and just leave the lip in certain spots. So back to the A1 for another prototype, and let's see how this one fits. Wow, three of those clips worked really well. One is actually just protruding from the outer ring, which holds the cap in place. And then the two here are slightly flexible, which allows us to snap the part in and hold it really tight into place. So now all we have to do is turn this into an aero disc. And if you wanna learn how to make parts for your own project car, we have an entire workshop that covers design along with the bonus 3D printing starter guide. But if you wanna just play around with this design, we'll share it inside our free newsletter, which you can sign up to in the description. Now all that's left is creating the center ring with another extrusion. And we also make sure that our design can print entirely flat without adding supports, which is why we're gonna go ahead and extrude that center circle down to make it entirely flat. So before we print the entire design, which can take a couple of hours, I took the first part of our design and simplified it just to kind of see where the actual aero disc fits based on the measurements I took. So the measurements are looking pretty good here. Now I'm gonna show you a simple process in Shaper 3D on how you can easily add fins to this design. Step one, we select the cube at the top right to get a side profile view. We can then sketch the side profile of our fin and type in the exact height. Now we just need to zoom out and finish connecting the entire shape together. For step two, we select the shape, change the extrude tool to symmetric and pull it out to around two millimeters. Once the shape is extruded, we can select the corner and drag it out to make a fillet. And for the final step, we double click the shape select the pattern tool and change the pattern to the number of fins that we want. Now we can drag them into position and we can send this off to the 3D printer. But this time we aren't gonna use just any filament. We're gonna switch over to ABS, which won't melt in the sun on a hot summer's day. And we're not just loading one color, but two. And since ABS can give off really bad fumes, we're firing up our fume extractor too. For the next part, we're going to use some ChatGPT magic to come up with a multicolor 3D printed design for our aero disc. It came up with a couple of interesting designs, and you'll also want to tell ChatGPT to export the file as an SVG, which is important for the next step. 
Once you have the files exported from Shaper 3D and ChatGPT, you can drag them into your 3D printing software like Bamboo Studio. Just make sure that you select your objects and center them up. Now we can start to select the different ABS filament colors that will be assigned to parts of the SVG image we imported. We're going to go with black for the AeroDisc object and white for the image. But there's some extra parts in the SVG we need to get rid of, and we could do that by selecting parts of the object and deleting them. Now the height of the SVG object needs to be shorter than the actual arrow disc, and one millimeter seems to do the trick. Once you slice the part, you can see what it's going to look like, and here's how it came out. But it doesn't look quite right without using this extra step. Just select the two main objects and select merge. Now you can slice the plate again and take a look at the difference. The first layer for both the colors looks way better. I also like to check each layer to make sure everything looks good. And we're ready to send the part to our enclosed X1C printer, which won't have any problems printing an ABS. And since the part takes up the entire build plate, I'm turning off flow dynamics calibration and using the filament defaults. If you don't, it will show up on the print. Now, once the print starts, you can take a look at the status, and so far, it's looking pretty good. So I'm not gonna lie, this thing came out pretty slick for a design that ChatGPT came up with. Let's put it on and show you how it looks. All right, so that's the design. It actually looks pretty cool with the black on white, but there's one problem and that's, I don't think that these fins are actually gonna do any good on this particular bottle cap because if you see the entire bottle cap in the center is solid. So the whole purpose of the aero disc is to redirect air into the wheel so you can have more air that's covering your brake pad and your caliper. So if you do have a wheel that's slightly different, this would probably be more functional. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redesign this to remove those fins. And let me show you how to do that in Shaper 3D. One way we can get rid of the fins is opening up the items and selecting the circular pattern and just hitting delete and then the fins are removed. Now we can also go and use the history function. So I'm gonna go and find the offset that we created earlier and then change that offset. And as you can see, the whole design changes once I make one specific change within the history function. Now I also wanna add a fillet, but uh, I have to combine the parts first in order to be able to do the fillet like we did before. And now I can select that and just give this part a bit more strength as it connects from the cylinder to the actual disc portion. And then you just have to remember to go back and clean up the bottom of the file. I'm gonna go ahead and move that up and make sure everything prints out completely flat so there's no overhang or supports required. So that was another complete and epic failure. And I'm trying to hide the design because I don't want to show you yet. So it looks like only the layer of the white filament was down on the first layer and the black didn't start printing until the second layer. So I must have had the aero disc a little bit too high in the design. And so that can happen if you're not checking the different layers in Bamboo Studio. So let me fix that and let's send this back off to the 3D printer again. And there you go, there's the redesign. ChatGPT came up with the patterns around the outside, the half ring, and then I found a BMW logo that was converted into an SVG, imported into Bamboo Studio, and we went through the same process to color all the parts that we wanted in white filament versus the other part in black. Now, if you don't want to go for 3D printing something this large at first, I actually have one other thing that you can 3D print. And that's one of these guys. So this is the design with the logo just on the cap cover. It's using the same exact design that we made at the beginning of the video when we were test fitting the clamps 
that would go into the actual ring. And I think if I actually did do an aero disc design with the fins, I would probably want to make some sort of screw mechanism instead where I can actually screw in the aero disc. So in order to better secure it with the flat design, I think that the clips are gonna hold up pretty well but we'll have to give it a test drive. And if you're interested in learning more about 3D printing, watch this video up next right here.